Hey everyone, welcome to Interview Pro. In this video, let's talk about reactive forms in Angular. So far, we used template-driven form for the feedback component. Let's try to convert the same form into reactive form. In reactive form, we make use of two classes, form group and form control. So this entire form is represented by form group and each of these controls is represented by form control in reactive form. For simplicity, I have only two fields in this form. I removed all other forms that we used in the previous videos. So let's go back to this file. So this is the input for name and this is the text area for feedback and then we have a submit button. Let's make this form reactive. For this, go to TS component and here I'll create a variable feedback form and this is going to be an instance of form group. So new form group. So this feedback form is going to represent the whole form. So go back to HTML and how do we bind the feedback form to this HTML is using the directive form group. and assign this to the variable that we have created just now. Now, in this form group, we have an object with all the controls in our form. In our case, we have two controls, username and feedback. So let's go back to this component and let me create two properties in this object. So each property is going to be an instance of form control. And then we have feedback. This is also an instance of form control. Inside this form control, if you want to give any default values, for example, if you want the username to be test by default or something, then you can give the default values here. But in my case, the default value is going to be empty string for both username and feedback. Now we have already binded this form to our HTML. Let's bind this username and feedback form controls as well. So go back to HTML, to the user input, just add form control name equals. Give the same variable that you have used here and do the same for feedback as well. In this case, the form control name is feedback because that's what we have given here. So copy and paste it. Now let's try to display what uh, is stored in this feedback form. So similar to template driven uh, forms, we have feedback form dot value that contains the values of all these controls. So let's try to display this feedback form dot value let's use the pipe symbol json to display the values in the form of json go back to ui we see an error here saying can't bind uh, to form group since it isn't a known property of form so if you remember when we use the uh, template driven variables template driven uh, form or uh, two-way binding we imported this forms module in app module.ts because this is how Angular knows that we are using a form and we are trying to uh, apply two-way binding. So in case of reactive forms as well, we have one more module to import. So that is reactive forms module. So this is part of Angular slash forms library. So you don't need forms module for the reactive forms module, uh, just reactive forms module uh, is required in the app module.ts. Now, if we go back to UI, we see the error again. So, okay, this should be a lowercase f in form group. Now the error is gone. And look at this, we use the uh, feedback form dot value and this is the value of that feedback form. So we used username to bind the input and feedback to this text area. So this is how a reactive form will bind the 
form controls now if i enter something like test user do you see this it is automatically binding this information to the uh, feedback form the same here so now if you go to submit button uh, this is of type submit so we can use a submit event ng submit to the form control let's uh, bind this to a method called on submit which i am going to create now in the ts component uh, this on feedback submit was the previous uh, uh, template driven form now let's bind a new method to reactive form so in the on submit what i'll do is i'll simply console log feedback form so this dot feedback form let's see what this feedback form has let's open console now if i click on submit we see the feedback form getting logged in the console so feedback form is of uh, type form group and this has all these properties one of the properties is controls so in this controls we have all the form controls that we have binded here if you add another control here you will see that control under this feed uh, form group dot controls and also look at this status this status is valid now because we did not add any validations to these forms like required or min length or anything so for now the status is valid this is overall form status now if you open this feedback this is of type control username is also of type form control so if you open this form control uh, we have properties such as pristine errors default value the status the value so this value we did not give any value here that's why it is uh, empty if I give some value and press submit, you will see that value coming here. And the status is valid because there are no errors. We didn't add any validations. So we have pristine, dirty, touched, untouched, whatever properties we have seen in the template driven. We have all these properties in reactive forms as well. But the difference is in template driven form, uh, we um, managed everything from the HTML uh, side, but in reactive form, we need to write more code in the TS form, TS uh, file. So now let's uh, type something test user awesome video and submit. Let's look at the new console log here. If you open controls, and feedback now you see the value is awesome video and same for the username as well for the username value is test username so this is how you create a reactive uh, form in angular so the two steps for creating a reactive form is first create an instance of form group with an object containing all the form controls then using form group directive and form control name bind this uh, variables to the html form then it will give us the reactive form so i hope the concept is clear if you like the content please like share and subscribe to interview pro thank you